Alrighty. We are here. I'm trying to figure out a way to um flipping it's supposed to be a way to set, if you can see. It's supposed to be a way to set um when uh that it shows me when um I join. I also have to publish on a bunch of different things. So let's go here. Let's go to Facebook. Let's use Instagram. Ba 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 da ba da da. Ba da ba ba. Uh. Okay. Ava might be in the chat, and Ava is, in fact, a G. Excited. Okay, cool. So usually in the beginning, before I stream, I post little things uh, here. Going live. Messing with small social media um, sites. On Twitch. Now let's get that snazzy Twitch link. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, uh. Okay. Whoever is there, I believe it is Ava. You're super cool. Nice to see you. I'm just doing a little publicity run right now. Um, and I want to figure out a way so that I can see who is viewing the chat. So let's see if I can go to chat settings. Followers only chat. Summer. Chat filters. Flip in. Heck. Show moderation actions, show message caught by Automod, deleted messages, pause chat, moderation settings. How about this? Mm. Nope, I don't know what I'm doing. Refresh chat. Okay, we're back to normal. All right. Uh, are we all good? Is everything good? Yeah, let's just publish that I'm going live. And then we will get started. Let's flip in do it. Okay, cool. Um, 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, Sunday. Today. The right now. <laughs> the 18th. Cool, and then I bet I can copy paste that. Eh, it's basically the same thing. Post, very cool. I usually get a bunch of Facebook friends, and it's really funny because they're just like people that I know that I like. Some of them that I haven't talked to, like my old uh, best friend from high school, um, like joined one of my streams once, uh, and we just like talked and chatted, and I hadn't seen him in forever. It was super wild. Uh, and then we're gonna go here. Gonna go wholesome and then live right now. Getting set up. Come join if you have the time. Have the time. And then boop. Ba ba ba. Cool. Dope. <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, I really want to be able to find out um, hmm. IRC clients that support that out of the box. IRC? What is an IRC client? What is up? How's What's going on? Do I know you? Where are you from? Nice to have you in the chat. I appreciate you joining the stream. 
Um, I don't think I need anything else. So today, what we're going to be doing, if I, if it's not super obvious, um, <laughs> we're going to be messing with, here, let me double check that I'm live, even though I know I am. I just like to see my own face. Am I live? We're live. Check us out. Category, just chatting. Perfect. Nice to meet you. That's super cool. You're from Argentina? Super great. Oh, man. Actually, hold on. I'm going to see if I can raise up. Eh. Now, you know what? The chat being down there is fine. Um, I'm doing great. It's really awesome to have you here. I guess we'll fix it later. Oh, shit. Infinite Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I know. It goes boom, boom. It's really funny. Nice to have you here, Hank. Sup, dude. Um, I'm trying to figure out uh, how to get something to to like notify me when somebody joins, right? So I can talk to everybody. Um, you get join messages on the IRC connection to the chat, which you can use. What is the IRC connection? I don't. I don't get it. I don't understand. Thank you for following me. I appreciate that. We're actually only seven follows away, and then I can get flipping, uh, gosh dang, Twitch. Um, hey, there's Aaron. Um, I can make gosh dang, uh, internet relay chat. Is that what that is? So, that's this. This is an IRC server that connects to an IRC client. Interesting. Okay. So, I guess I need to get a separate client that tells me when different people join. Is that what it's kind of trying to tell me? I'm assuming that's what it is. I'll figure it out later. We'll be fine. Um, it would just be nice to be able to say, like, hey, nice to have you on. Kiwi IRC would do it. Hmm. I'll look that up for later. Kiwi IRC. I did meet Kiwi IRC. The web IRC client. Very cool. This is fascinating. All this fancy tech that you understand and I don't. See, that's why you're here, Hank. To help me with all the cool stuff. What'd you say, Ghost? Nice. I know Ghost usually can't join because he's. It's like midnight where he is right now. And that is no fun. Um, ooh, Hank said something. I'm sorry, I'm just scrolling through this. Uh. Hey, so he's building and selling different skill sets. It's like painting versus pick up frame. Yeah. I'm glad you saw Cameron's post. Cameron's super cool. I freaking love Cameron. Um, very, very wholesome dude. He uh he had me on his podcast and he's I think he released the episode where I'm in it. Um Yeah, yeah, sorry. So what I'm doing today is basically um I'm gonna be doing uh, I'm going to be exploring a bunch of small, little, tiny social media channels um, and seeing if I can like try to take them over or, or not take them over. I'm not going to be able to take anything over, but I'm going to try a bunch of different little social media channels and see if we can like uh, like get started building an audience there, right? So we can so there might be some fun opportunities. The reason behind that is because um, on LinkedIn, I have. Uh, let's go to, let's go to my network. Here we go. Um, I think there's some people I sort of destroyed. No, no, no. Uh, so I have 4,400 connections and I have around 5,500 followers. Yeah. And the reason that I was able to get that many followers on LinkedIn is like, I try really hard with my content. Sure. Um, but I wouldn't, if I tried that on say, uh, um, flip in like Instagram or Facebook or really anywhere else, I wouldn't have gotten nearly that many followers just because there are you know, so much more opportunity on something like a LinkedIn because it's so underserved because not not everybody is posting. Um, hi, Mr. Pretzel Boy. Yes, Twitch. That is, that's what we're on right now. Um, anyway. Um, the reason that I was able to develop such a nice viewer base and such a nice audience on LinkedIn is because it was underserved, right? It's not massively underserved, but there's a lot of opportunity for people like myself to hop on and make content and become popular there, right? So, um, I want to be able to do the same thing with other forms of social media. And I want to like pick on really, really small ones uh, to see if we can make something happen, right? So, 
Um, also, a quick little thing, quick little update. Um, these are, I ran an ad, I ran a neat little ad, and basically all it was, let me see if I can show you what it looked like. Edit, uh, summary. There's a cute little picture here, let me pull up the picture. I ran an ad on my recent, um, thing. Comment on the link I shared. Oh boy, is Scott gonna roast me? Scott's probably gonna roast me. Um, this is what I shared. So this is the little ad. Can't make it today. You're doing a great job. Love you anyway. Yeah, anyway. Also, what we should try to do. So I want to scare. I want to be able to share my phone screen. But it, here, let me finish my flipping thought and stop bouncing around. This is an ad that I ran. I just ran this little picture on an ad on Facebook right here, as you can see, um, under four one two thrift uh, to advertise my most recent little project, and I got six signups. I got six signups and I spent like five bucks. So it's about like a dollar per um, customer with that just little basic thing. Which honestly, not half bad. Especially if I can make them, well, um, these aren't all going to be actual paying customers. But like a dollar a month is the plan to charge them for it. So if I can do that, then I, I make the money back automatically. But that would assume all of these people have to sign up and that's not going to happen. So we'll see. We will see what my uh, customer acquisition process looks like. But regardless, that's going really well. It's going really awesome. Very happy with that. Um, I got some introductions. Twitch. Got some new followers. You guys are awesome. We're going good on LinkedIn. Um, yeah, let's get started. So I'm just going to throw this down with one tab. And then let's get our weird social media channels up and running. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't think I'm a genius, but I just think like if you if you get in early on a wave of something, you have a lot more opportunity, right? Um, and I got in decently early on the LinkedIn wave, so that's why I was able to um, actually make something happen, right? But uh, if I can find something even more underserved, even smaller, even like with even fewer people on it, um, that is like growing in popularity or at least has something on it, then it's going to be way easier for me to gain an audience because I'm going to be one of the only people using it, right? And it's uh, it's not going to. You found your first pre-seed follower. What is that? Are you my first pre-seed follower? What do you mean by pre-seed? I'm not a startup. Nobody's going to invest in me. Actually, wait. Oh, uh, another thing we should do today. Oh, another thing we should do today is we should try to... Um, oh, there's so much that I want to do on these flipping streams. Um, who invested before I had traction? You did. You're spending your time here. You're investing your time. Did he donate? He followed. Val followed. They followed me. But, um... Uh, uh. It's part of... <laughs> friends and family around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll figure you out. I'll figure out who you are. I'm pretty sure I know. Ugh, so salty. Anyway, so I'm going to go through a list. I have a huge list of people to, 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 to look into. So let's do photo... Photo.com... This is not it. Flip. Photo. Social media. Yeah. Where is it? I know it's here. I thought it was just called photo. LinkedIn. Look at that. Top social networking sites people are using. LinkedIn is above, wait, hold on. We have Twitter, we have Facebook. LinkedIn is above Instagram. I don't know why I got distracted into that. Um, I, there's a weird social media saying, hey, old guy, how's it going? Nice to have you in here. I appreciate you joining the stream. Um, there's a weird photo social media. There, uh, I, my friend Tiffany, here, hold on, let's use LinkedIn. Um, what's up, Toast? 
study for an exam tomorrow, but I'm here because this has to my attention. Oh no! If you're gonna study for an exam, like, uh, dude, go do that. I don't want you to. I don't want you to waste your time hanging out with me. I appreciate the following. You should totally join streams later. Um, and I'm glad I got your attention, but don't let me waste your time. You should be studying for your exam. What kind of exam is it? No, you know what? Don't even answer that question. <laughs> um, you should go and you should go kick butt. Uh, Tiffany Para. Yeah. If you haven't been on here, I teach business stuff, um, and that's that's what I do. So if you want to join, or if you're ever on here, or if you want to learn stuff about entrepreneurship, hit me up. Don't listen to him. Drop out. Being a no. Don't drop out and be an entrepreneur. Be an entrepreneur while you <laughs> apply to YC. Oh my goodness. You have to study about art. That's so cool. That's so interesting. I've never. I didn't. It's. That's so interesting to me that you can study art. Hmm. There's a lot of memorization. I would hope talent partnerships at nine count. So let's check out nine count. Um, world's best online community. National Donut Day. What a what a thing. Okay. Um, visit website. Ninecount.co. Opens it. Wow, this is a simple website. I'm I'm looking at, at Tiffany because they run. Oh, okay. Via VC back company on a mission to create world's best online communities. Our founders have created products that have reached hundreds of millions of users, such as Musically, Beep, Phone, and many more. Well, what else? Because they they have a new app and it's really really cool. Contact, open positions. Is this the only... Really? Really? Can you give me like a... Flippin... Ugh, oh, I hate this. I despise this website. Ugh, oh, I'm so frustrated. Okay, maybe we won't check that out. But it was a really cool app. Ah. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. Um, here, let me search the app store. Also, let's make sure that I can share my phone... Um, how to share phone screen on a uh, computer. How to share iPhone screen on computer. I can't. No, I can't do that. How mirroring works. Open the control center, screen mirror, airplay button, select your computer, iOS screen. So I think I need uh, stuff like that. Mm, not going to be able to make that happen. How about sharing your... Join.me. I can do it through join.me. Could I just Zoom call myself? I don't think so. On your Windows PC. Here we go. Here we go. Um, art history. Art history is interesting. Art history is super interesting. I agree with that completely. It's just interesting to study um, as a thing, but like nothing gets you better with practice. Oh my god, look at this trashy ad. Okay, let's make sure... How to geek. You can screenshot from Zoom call? Really? Hmm. Okay, so maybe I should just Zoom call myself. <laughs> That's so weird. Um, I can screenshot. Oh, also, quick idea. Um, <laughs> um, I am 22. I have been studying entrepreneurship for a while, and I've been messing around with a lot of different things. Uh, let's... Let me just... I'm, I just wish that I could flip in the receiver. Uh, airplay. Okay, yeah, so it's airplay. And then Laura's PC. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, let's download this real quick because I want to be able to share my phone screen, right? Ooh. You have a cool side social media project? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question, Hank. I love that. Do you have any interest in, like, specific social medias? Do you have any social medias that you hang out on? Why do you hang out on Twitch as opposed to other things? Like, how did you get into Twitch? And so it's, I want to, like, the goal here is to learn as much as we can about social media and how it functions on different sites so that we can fuss with it and we can try to try to hack something together or web scrape some things or, or maybe set up an automation tool or a little web bug. Um, 
Yeah, so I looked into Nextdoor, um, and you told me that it's really hard to get on. I Actually, my dad uses Nextdoor, and it's really cool. Um, I want to get on there because I feel like that's a really, really applicable little thing. It's a perfect um, thing to mess around with because it's a really small little community. It's right in my little neighborhood, and I can, I can, I can mess with some stuff, and I can mess with some advertising on it. So it would have been perfect. I just need to... Um, actually, you know what? Let's, let's check out Nextdoor anyway. So Nextdoor um, is a good one. Uh, let's, I really do want to get this, so, does this download Lonely Screen and so on your, eh, is Lonely Screen safe? Is Lonely Screen safe? Perfect. Um, mirroring app safe. And use the Lonely Screen, suspicious malicious indicator, so I don't need Miller. Um. Spawns a lot of processes. Ten to six hosts. It is fine. It is a popular source of gross malware. Then it's totally your wish. Okay, so it looks a little bit messy. Parabola. Oh, Parabola. I'm getting advertised by Parabola. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, Val. Tell us what social media apps you use and anything that you want to check out. Is there anything that, that isn't used in the U.S. or um, things like that? Uh, interesting. Never even heard of it. Let's check it the flip out. Okay. Um, we'll figure out the screen mirroring app stuff later. Um, oh, I really wish I could, I could check that out. Let me check the app store really quick to see if photo exists. And if it exists in the app store, then I'll be happy. Photo. No, I don't see it. Oh, wait, no, this is totally it. This is totally it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So it's this, if you can see it. Photo. Try something new. It's got a lot of ratings, man. Um, hmm. Yeah, so we'll check that out soon. That looks really cool. Um, Kapow! That's like Amazon. Interesting. So let's check it out. <sighs> Social network, your sir. I don't know if users. 27 million users. Use base current. Thousands of really posts and general interest topics. Life hacks, tutorials, recipes, view. This is super cool. Whoa. Well, look what we're looking at. This is how social media works. I hop on, and I'm pretty sure if I scroll down, I'm going to see a picture of a butt. I'm not about that. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I knew stuff like this was going to happen. Also, we're probably going to get into something worse because there's, a, there's an app called um, OnlyFans. OnlyFans, and that is pretty garbage. <laughs> It is basically um, about pretty people doing not exactly the best stuff. Here we got humor. We got memes. This is definitely for Argentina. Argentina, right? From Argentina. Um, yeah, Argentina. Awesomeness. Um, but it's still interesting to see. Yeah, this is cool. This is an independent little social media. This is this is a social media for them. It's like and it's humor. This is fascinating. Popular channels and there's video games. This is so cool. This is so so cool. Okay, cool. This is good to keep up. This is good to keep up. I love it. Okay, awesome. Thank you for showing me that. That's a great example of something. Um, so nine count. They have uh, musically was the first one they started, and then what is beep? If these guys start beep social media. Tech branding. Beep.digital. Beep beep media. Bubble beep. Beep social. Boop social. This is odd. This is very, very odd. All right, whatever. Um, so nine count. We'll check that out later, and I'll try to screen share later. This is fascinating to see. This is a, a culturally specific um, piece of 
messing around. Check out Steam and maybe Even Minds. Ooh, thank you, Cameron. Even Minds social media. Your social network, we funder. Um, social network for internet freedom, crypto tokens for their contributions to the network. Interesting. Anti Facebook that pays you for your time. Ah, ha, ha, perfect. Perfect. Steam? Okay, I'll check out Steam. This is great. There's so many of these things. Um, let's just get on it. Let's just get on mines. Let's do Steam. Powering communities and opportunities. <laughs> I don't think he's able to join this stream. You're so sassy. Hank is a sass master. You never expect it. You meet him in person, he's just like, oh, what a cool guy. And then, like, you give him the opportunity, he just sasses the heck out of you. It's great. He's got the sass mask behind him. Okay, minds.com. That's what a great <laughs> URL. Um, leading Oprah Social Network for Internet Freedom, earn crypto and free promotion for your contributions. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. So we should. We're, I'm gonna. I'm gonna layer all these up. Mine's, okay. Cool. Oh, hey, we funder. Holy crap! Fifteen hundred investors invested in Mines, a social media network, a decentralized social media for internet freedom, where you earn crypto for. For and they. they I didn't even realize we funder. <laughs> the SaaS master. Um, I didn't realize WeFunder was a, a a crowdfunding campaign. That's super cool. I'm going to put that to the side. Um, awesome. Absolutely. I'm super glad. Thank you so much for following me, and I'll see you later. Thank you so, for hopping on, Val. Okay, cool. Um, so we got this. Steam upvoted on DTube. What the heck? Social blockchain that grows communities and makes immediate revenue streams possible for users by rewarding them for sharing content. It's currently the only blockchain that can power real applications via social apps like Steemit. This is fascinating. Entrepreneurs. Ooh. Mm. I just immediately get on the, the link that says entrepreneurs. Okay, cool. So we have this. We have all these. This is great. What else did I have? Because I had a huge list. Perlu. Perlu looks hilarious. It looks like an influencer only social media. Or www.perlu.com which is hilarious to me. Look at this. A place for brands and influencers too. Look at this little thing. So funny. Okay, cool. Um, let's open all these babies up. We got Perlu. Wistia. Wistia was interesting. Because Wistia looked like it, Wistia is just a video hosting platform, but it looked like they had their own channel for video creation and their own live channel. Um, I, oh yeah, it sounds toxic. Are you kidding me? It's going to be garbage, um, which is what I'm excited about. Wistia channels have arrived. Yeah. You can easily turn a collection of videos into a show stopping experience. Don't freaking sell to me. All your video, okay, maybe this isn't it. Maybe this isn't something that we want. Oh. Channels in action. But we can all, so what we need, what we need is um, if we're going to build an audience on some random thing, right? There's two things that we need. Um, or There's one of two things that we need. One, we need a search. Like we need to be able to be searched and found and, and located, right? And so we need it like, uh, like we need to do well with SEO within the platform because there is some algorithm that, that the, the platform is going to like peek into. So when you do a search, like when I do a search on LinkedIn, that makes you top, like pop up in the top. So when I type in, entrepreneur, right? Entrepreneur and people, right? Who's showing up? Andrew Knoll, because he's in my he's in my immediate network. Type on my phone so you can't comment on his chain. <laughs> Giving Cameron sass. Um, these people pop up. If I like, if people search that, why do they pop up first, right? Google Doc Notes for today. That's a good point. 
Dang. Hank is on me. Let's do it. Hank does not cut me any slack. If you if you don't know, if, if people who haven't joined, Hank is the like the local keep Max on task guy, and he has saved my life like six thousand times on these things. So he is he's the one that keeps me on task when I get distracted. Feel free to join him in giving me shit. Okay, um, social media notes, social media platform notes. So objective. Boop. Um, the objective is to... Hank the man, exactly. Um, the objective is to... Um, build an audience on a niche social platform using the fact that it's underserved or unpopular to stand out. Boom. Um, requirements for the social network. So we need um, one of the two. One of these two. We need um, in-app um, in so, uh, SEO or search. So that we can show up and become more popular. Um, leverage this to show up in um, a certain field and become more, um, become found more often. Or um, we need a discovery, right? So we need some sort of like a, a discovery page. Like Instagram has the discovery page. LinkedIn is just you naturally discover stuff through like a feed, right? So we need natural discovery, um, either through a discover page, um, natural discovery via a news feed, or and that's pretty much it. Or through discover page or natural discovery through via newsfeed. Cool. Um, hashtags are important for this. Hashtags and meta descriptions. Cool. Meta descriptions. Awesome. So those are what we need right now. Um, bold. Blah, 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 blah. And then heck. Cool. So that's good. Awesome. So this is what we need. That's what we need to do. Um, now let's just start hunting. So this will go all the way over here, and we can just start whipping through these babies. Shaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen, I've seen Shaper. Um, it's essentially the Tinder of um, Tinder of LinkedIn, right? So I wanted to check that out. I just don't know if we can do it. Shaper was one of the um, the apps that I wanted to check out. I just don't know if I can do it on my uh, laptop, but we'll find out. We can probably do most things on my laptop. I might not need to share my phone screen, but it'd be fun to share my phone screen. Um, okay, cool. So we have that. What else do we have that I'm missing? So we checked out Wistia. It doesn't look like it's what we want. It just looks like it's an embed. Um, OnlyFans. Yes, so Facebook, Facebook um, video platform. Uh, Japan is video platform reportedly slashing. So I saw something um, that you can like, you can draw a thing, like it's, <laughs> hmm. There was a thing on Facebook where you could like draw things and it was it was like a it, it was essentially trying to be like a like a, a TikTok but for Facebook. Um and I was really really curious. Facebook for creators. Maybe this is it. Let you share your creativity with the world and build a community. Powering video creators. Nice your creativity, get paid, video best practices, good stats, no. 
I want to do uh, entrepreneur. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Your recommended tools: Creator Studio, Video Ecosystem. Distribute your content across Facebook. This is cool. Facebook for creators. This is really cool, actually. I should look into this for Entrepreneur. This is nice. Okay, anyway. I'll actually hide this later because I can't find what I was looking for. Um, next one. Next one, next one, next one, next one. So we got Shaper. We got um, Facebook. Let's do Patreon and Alignable. Alignable is going to be fun. Align. No. Alignable. Alignable is like a shitty LinkedIn, essentially, um, which is great because I already know how to do stuff on there. <laughs> okay, cool. So, we got Alignable. We got, what else do we got? What else do we got? What else do we got? TikTok. I'm not going to do TikTok. I will do TikTok on my own. I don't like how it's structured right now. Um, I just, I don't have fun with it. So, Alignable. We got Patreon, Beamstart, My Opportunity. There's Bumble Business is another one. It's really similar to Shaper. So, I got Bumble Business. Bumble Biz. Bumble Biz. Make the first move. Start meeting people in your area. Ooh. Um, cool. So, we'll do that. I got Bumble Business. This is so funny how many of these there are. It's wild to me. Angelus is the big one that I want to hit. So Mixer, we can check it out. Um, subreddits that Taylor dropped in my last post. Photo, I uh, will find it. Riffer. Riffer. Your voice is heard. Sounds great to me. Um, open social audio platform. Create here, publish everywhere. Interesting. Wow, this is a lot. Okay, what does this mean? What is this? Riffer. It's not giving me any information. Open social audio. Um, yeah, I'm making a list of platforms that I want to peek at, and then we can pick the ones that we like the most, and we'll go into those first, right? So, um, we'll check out Riffer. We'll check out... I will put the list in my document. Um, I just need to... I can scrape it really quick once I have all the links up. So, we'll do Riffer. Um, AngelList, yeah, 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 let's do AngelList. So, AngelList is cool. I think we should absolutely do AngelList first because AngelList is literally like the most perfect social media for like most of the stuff that I do. Maybe not for Entrepreneur, but for um, for Moss Generation, my, my company for sure because we literally, like the two people that we talk to are entrepreneurs and investors and that's the only two people that are on this platform. So if we can build an audience here somehow by hacking it together and being a little creative um, or at least just showing up popularly in SEO, there's nothing we can't do. Can you believe it? Okay, so more. Track, salaries, valuations, incubators, companies, venture funds, sort of jobs, recruits, um, let's see. How do I search somebody? <sighs> let's go Pittsburgh. What? Pittsburgh locations. So these are Pittsburgh startups. How do I find people? So let's check out investors. <coughs> 5,060 interest in Pittsburgh, 75 reside in Pittsburgh. We got plenty of people here. This is great. Yahoo. I've heard about Rob, actually. Ed Engler. Frank Demler. Yeah, we got all these different people. But how? Let's see. Hmm. Recruit. Invest. There isn't a feed, right? <clears throat> yeah. Who do you know? Is it Ed Engler, Bob Adams, or Rob Adams? What was it? Who do you know? Because I would immediately like an introduction. Um, no. Okay, let's see. Um, blog. Yeah. No, I've seen a bunch of them. Whoa! Why does Angelus have a crappy blog? This is dumb. Why are we getting such an issue? I'm gonna that one kept loading. I'm gonna go back to it later. Um, 
Why is their blog all messed up? Ugh. That's not good. Come on, Angel List. Okay, here. So let's log in. I believe this is how it logs in. Yeah, that's me. So, um, from others. Hello, sir. We represent many gold miners here in. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Um, okay. Invest. More. Help. Sellers. Relations. Trackers. Investors. Let's try. Investors. Paul Neg. Connected via Everett Neg. No way. My friend Everett Neg um, has a investor dad. Yeah, no kidding. Um, school. Let's see. Role. Investor. VC. Locations. So there is a search, right? There is a search. And that's good. My direct connections. These are all people that I know. Secondary network. Everyone. So. So why are these people popping up immediately, right? Out of everybody. Why are they popping up first? Interesting. So I can't post, but I can MS with my profile, right? I can absolutely mess with my profile. View my progress profile, share, Carnegie Mellon, uh, Portland, Seattle, Pittsburgh. Yeah, I should change that. Edit, let's edit. So username, Max Mirho. It's always nice to have a shorter name. Twitter, Facebook, GitHub, Stack Overflow, Dribble. My Dribble profile. Look at this. We already got a bunch of different ones. Um, location, let's not do Portland, let's not do Seattle. Patent specialist, connector, entrepreneur. Ooh. Um, independent inventor, intellectual property specialist. I can change that. Let's do um, co founder of Moss Generation. Um, can I RE? What do you mean by that? Like, disassemble? It's really going to be hard to find any sort of search algorithms in any of these things. Reverse engineer. Okay, yeah. It's going to be hard. Like, for instance, on LinkedIn, there was nobody that could ever reverse engineer the search algorithm without, like, busting open all these different things. Um, like, trying every little thing that's absolutely, like, everything possible. Let's do max. Um... And just seeing what the what the algorithm responds to best, but it's basically a shit show. It's totally a crapshoot, and that's really frustrating for a lot of people. But if you figure out the algorithm on something like an Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, LinkedIn, whatever, like you are beyond chilling because you can do whatever you want. You can you can position your content and everything that you post at exactly the right times and exactly the right ways, um, and you can just automate it. But um, I got LinkedIn. My LinkedIn is wrong. Let's go to my actual LinkedIn. Boop. View profile. X. X out of there. Boop. So you always want links to be. You don't want any dead links because I guarantee you they they can tell. Website. So moshgeneration.com. Um, Mosh gener. Generally, um, one of the safe things that we can do, like when we're building this profile, when we're building something out like this, the best thing like that we can do first is just setting up our profile appropriately. Like, think what they want you to have on there, right? Like, they want me to have a website. They wa they 100 want me to have a website, so they know I'm legit. They can tell. Like, their little algorithm is going to look at mine, and they're going to be like, "Oh, okay. Like, they have a website. They're legit. They have their LinkedIn plugged in. They have their Facebook plugged in. All these different things." So having these set up and have it like literally like the the 78 complete that is literally an indicator of how well we're going to show up just on a baseline. So we know that starting off the bat. Let's go to Twitter. Go to my Twitter. My Twitter is inactive but I want to become more active with it um, github I don't have github I don't know I don't even know what any of these are about and that is a shame but we have plugged in the best we can so we have Max Miro username Max Miro um, co-founder of Moss Generation host of of the um, entrepreneur show host of the entrepreneur show um 
connecting investors to Pittsburgh startups, tech startups. Boom. Nice little profile, super neat. Um, role, it's not too patent specialist. It's gonna, connector's good. Entrepreneur, investor, or um, incubator. Let's just do incubator. Let's pretend we're an incubator. Um, you can't create any two such an existing one. What? Incubator. And, okay, so let's do that. Incubator. Um, accelerator. There's not many followers for these guys, which is sucky. Um, angel. Fund manager. Angel investor. Syndicate. No, nothing for a syndicate. Um, how about community? Community manager. Cool. Let's also do... Yeah, so look, okay, these are tags. This is perfect. Um, so I want to be found where? Just in the United States? United States. Um, Pittsburgh, United States. Pennsylvania. Oh, that's Pennington. Who followed me? <gasps> Sharon's Rainbow, you're incredible. Six more follows and I can host my freaking videos on Twitch and I can actually use it as a landing page for what I do. Finally, instead of just porting people to YouTube. So it would be amazing if you did stuff like that. So, community manager, entrepreneur, incubator, accelerator, connector. Um, network, network engineer, network architect. No, that's that's tech stuff. Um, VC, really, no. It's, there's nothing, there's not enough people on there. Location, Pittsburgh, United States, Pennsylvania, United States. Um, Let's also say that we are in LA, um, Los Angeles, uh, Los Angeles, cool, uh, because we do have somebody, out, Akash is out in LA, and we do have uh, a little bit of networks out there, so that's good. Where do I want to get connected to? I should probably also add them so I'm discoverable. This is going to make me discoverable in the right places, right? So if I want to be in Pittsburgh, if I want to be in Pennsylvania, United States, Los Angeles, I, I'm going to show up. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to show up if somebody searches that. So let's say I'm also in Portland. Portland, Oregon. Um, let's say I'm also in Seattle, Washington. Let's say I'm also in um, Silicon Valley. Let's say I'm also in New York. New York City, New York. Let's also say I'm in Boston. Boston, Massachusetts, Sam in Austin, Texas. Um, what else? What are the main hubs are there? Philly, good point. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Cool. Awesomeness. That's a good start. That sounds good. That means we should show up in all these locations. So if somebody's searching for somebody, um, that's great. Actually, let's do the nearby, especially. Cleveland, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Let's do... Um, what else is there? York, Pennsylvania. I feel like yeah, that's getting too far out, right? So that's good. What about is that good? I feel like that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Let's just let's stick with that for now. Save. Cool. Um, that's a decent picture of me from a very long time. Youngstown. Eh. Do you, I feel like we're getting a little bit too niche there? I don't know. What do you think? We can add it. Morgantown. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? Heck with it. Let's add him. Um, let's do Youngstown. Youngstown, Ohio. Let's do P A O L I. Where's that? Pali, Pennsylvania. Jeez. This is hilarious. Argentina. <laughs> um, Morgantown. Morgantown, West Virginia. Yep. Um, Stib. Nope, no followers, so that's not going to be useful. All right, cool. I think we're running into a wall, so let's just do this. Um, co-founder Moss Generation, host of the Entrepreneur Show, connecting connecting investors to Pittsburgh tech startups. Cool. We got Carnegie Mellon Universities, business uh, blah. Um, awesome. I feel like let's let's make sure that we look primo. So let's add. Let's make sure the top one is something like an incubator, right? Um, you were kidding? <laughs> All right, let's get rid of Pally. Um, let's make sure the top one is incubator, right? Connector, entrepreneur, um, connector. 
entrepreneur, um, innovation, um, yeah, let's just do that, that sounds good, and then I should show up as an incubator, right, yes, I show up as an incubator for my public profile, so let's look at my public profile, what the flip, <laughs> this is garbage, oh, because it's sending me to the wrong one, this is Max Mirho, right, yeah, view my public profile, okay, so this is what I look like, I look like an incubator, an accelerator, awesome, so I look like an incubator, that's important, um, oh, ooh, F success and Crunchbase are also good ones. Cameron just pinged us in the group chat. Thank you, Cameron. That's awesome. Um, that's a really good idea. So we'll check that out a little bit. But um, report this profile, report myself. Um, yeah, so let's mess with my experience. Uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? So because this doesn't have a feed, boop, let's reset. Does it still say 78% complete? What else do we need to do? Add your project, add your most impressive achievement. Okay, so these are the rest of the things. Um, projects, project title, project link, and a project. Uh, let's say entrepreneur, nerd, um, project link. Let's just link to this stream selflessly. Just, just blatantly promoting myself. Oh, this is good. Cool. Um, Turn your live stream on Twitch. Check out the videos description. Um, I'll fix all this later. This is unimportant for me right now because I don't want to. I don't want to talk about boring stuff. Um, a live stream to educate viewers on entrepreneurship. Um, make a list of shit to fix later. Good point. Good point. Um, live stream uh, to educate viewers on entrepreneurship. Um, how to get. Well, that looks good. Um, cool. Save. That's good. Um, so yeah, let's for let's see for angel list. I need to fix up profile. Put in um, projects and uh, add links. Clean up unrelated previous projects. Cool. Um, Angelist. Bolt. Awesome. Well, what we can do to get started right now is we can... Um, favorite non visitors book. This is so funny. Um, what we can do, though, right now is we can go... 89% complete. Cool. Um, most impressive achievement. Yeah, right. Achievements. Most impressive thing you've done. Start monster generation. <laughs> Start and build monster generation. Save. Um, is that done? 100% complete. Boom. Share. So I can share it via those things, but I'm done. That's all it wants me to do. That's good. I can add a cover photo. I need to add a cover, cover photo just to look really nice and neat. Add a cover photo. Um, being like having usually as a landing page, think of it as a website, right? Public Starter Database, uh, um, Crunchbase, Jackson, CB Insights, Metamark, and DataFox. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. So those are good to be. Those are good to know, and those are good to be able to scrape. Um, but we can't like be more readily accessible there, right? But with this, when I search. Let's look up Pittsburgh Investors. Pittsburgh Investors. All right. Well, we're just going to say Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh location. Um, how about we go to 50, 560, 5060 investors interested in Pittsburgh. And we go right ahead and let's see. Follow. So I can follow them or I can't, I can't connect with them, I guess. So they have 39 connections. How do you connect with somebody? Let's figure it out. Investments 11, all these different things. This is great. Um, Rob Meyer. So can I message him? I can message. 
Are there any connections? Can I follow? I can follow. But how do you make a connection? Because a connection is the most important thing. No connections to Rob. Find connections on it. Interesting. So I connect my Gmail. Yeah, let's connect my Gmail. Let's do this. See and download my contacts. So this should give me an opportunity to add people on here. Yeah, here we go. Connect with all these selected, because these should be, yeah, this is mostly, yeah, yeah, yeah perfect, perfect. Connect with 54 selected. I must add a relationship. Interesting. Boom. How do I know Akash? Um, Quentin's advisor, what makes most sense? What looks the least sketchy? Is there a millennial in the chat? <laughs> oh, man. Um, classmate, co-founder, co-worker. Um, collaborator. Let's just say collaborator. Uh, uh, okay, so I'm going to need to other. Here, okay, this is, a good, this is good, though. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to go back to my... So, yeah, people may know I can actually, let's go back to my profile, settings, and then let's, um, email is, gmail, um, and email address, gmail, now you know what, fuck, fuck this, I need to change my email, change email. Cool. Um, we can add all these different people. If I list you, actually, how? If I list um, one of my projects as um, here, cancel. Let's go down to projects. Add a project. Uh, Moss generation. Moss generation project link. Moss gen. Generation.com. I was working on this project. Continue. Um, cool. And then I can make a little syndicate of, of people that are in MozGen, right? Um, summary. Uh, network of investable Pittsburgh startups. Investable. Network of, um, cool, save, dope. Um, so I need to fix those later, but for now, I can go to my connections, my connections, or people I may know. Add connections. Gmail, connect, I'll connect again. Gosh dang it. And then we can just get everybody on board with the Moss Generation. Connect with 82 selected. So, boop. I don't know, Aaron. Um, collaborator at Moss Generation. Boom. Boom. Um, collaborator at Moss Generation. Confirm. And then let's try to add people that might. Hey, thank you. Thank you for thank you for following me. I super appreciate it. If you haven't, um, if you haven't checked this out, basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to build an audience on and a network on different fun um social media sites and because i do a lot of entrepreneurship stuff um oh andy's so cute collaborator at oops oh i can just say collaborator i don't have to so i can go down to collaborator at choose one um and i can just boom yeah cool uh collaborator uh moss generation boom channels the app uh, collaborator at Monstration to confirm. Um, this is super cool. Yeah, this is how this works. So if I, I like, I'm what I'm thinking. Ooh, David Winnie's another good one. Collaborator at Monstration. Boom. Um, we'll go David Winnie because he knows a lot of people. Collaborator at Monstration. Boom. And I'm hoping it'll let me Eric Bon. Um, collaborator. Um, advisee at Steve Monstration. Boom. Um. I'll say, 
uh, acquaintance. Boom. Um, Jim Jen. Jim Jen's another good one, but okay, cool. So I feel like we've added a good amount of people. Krishna, um, he's my advisor. Oops, I added somebody as an advisee. They're going to get pissed about that uh, at Must Generation. So he's that. Awesome. Matthew Kessinger. Matthew Meister. We've got a lot of people on here. This is good. We've got Rob Meyer. How do you know Rob? Uh, collaborator at Must Generation. Boom. Rob Meyer. There's a lot of good people on here. Srinath. Todd Medima. Um, Tracy Saunders. Ugna. <laughs> Why is Ugna on here? Um, got Zach Slayback. Zach's always good. Okay, cool. Let's just leave that there. And then I think that should allow us to connect to other people. I'm not a robot. Cool. Um, so there's more to connect to there. There's more to connect. Actually, I could use Slack because I have the Moss Generation Slack on there. But now we should go to My Connections and hopefully add connections. Mm. Enter email addresses to invite connections. Interesting. Manage My Connections. Accept. Done. Ignore. <laughs> Scott found me. Um, email invitations. So, add connections. It looks like you can only add connections through outside things. That's what it's looking like to me. Except, um, okay. Your connections. Okay, hold on. So, let's go to my connections. Let's check out um, connected via Everett Nag. Yeah, exactly. So, this only works now if... I know people and they let me connect to them. Right? Like, I have to be already connected to somebody else. You can make a public, but default is friends and family only. Yeah. Everyone. Um, but see, look, like this won't let me connect to them. A secondary network is the only people that I'm allowed to connect to. Fascinating. My direct connections. Where is Scott? So I wonder if I can check out Scott's network. Yeah, exactly. See, I can request intros or I can connect directly to people that I am connected to via Scott, right? So essentially, this is like a, but this is very deliberate, right? So this doesn't happen naturally. But I can go on here and I can, we've figured out, we've figured out AngelList. Now we know how AngelList works. Basically, what I need to do for AngelList is I need to um, manually, unless I can find like a, an automation tool to do it for me. I need to manually um, send connection requests to all Pittsburgh interested investors, and I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to do that directly. But the only way that that's gonna happen is if um, the only way this is possible is if you build a Pittsburgh network already directly um, and you build out from there scale out from there so it's a time-consuming process there's probably not limits on how I can do it so I can be really aggressive with it and if I oh excuse me if I have that many followers then if I make any activity or I do anything like that suddenly things start to happen Exactly. I agree. These barriers make this a better opportunity. The harder it is to do stuff in these in these situations, the more like opportunity we have. Exactly. Exactly. That's the benefit of these these niche little platforms. So no, exactly. It's the exact same thing. And so I'm going to be the only one that probably anybody has ever been like reached out to. Like uh, the only request that I got was from a friend that I know, Scott McTaggart. Um and then like some random gold spam, right? And they automated that somehow. I would love it if the, I would love it if I could automate something. So I, I should probably like look into some sort of an angel list automation tool. But like in the future. But for now, it's just directly adding people that are in Pittsburgh doing cool startupy stuff, right? That's all. Um, and then I can start to scale it out from there. And then like the network effects. Like after I get past a certain point, I'm gonna be so far ahead of anybody else. Um, and having that network of everybody that's like eventually the goal is to have everybody that's interested in investing in Pittsburgh on a network on um, AngelList, which would be great. 
it'd be super amazing to have that network, right? That's super, super helpful to what I'm doing because then I know all the investors or at least have links to all the investors um, that are interested. And I already do have links to all the investors, so I should search through them directly. Um, but it's still, it's awesome. It's perfect. It's exactly what I need. So, hmm. Ooh, I just thought of a way to hack it. Here's a hack. So if I can connect to them directly through my email, right? Meaning they have existed in my email and they are part of my contacts. I can hack that, right? Because, or Twitter. Twitter was another one. So, or Facebook. But email is probably going to be the easiest. So what if I go and I go to search? Let's go to search. We go to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Boom. Um, I'll follow this, sure. Um, do I tweet about it? What does this do? It actually doesn't do anything. No, it opens Twitter. Interesting. So let's say that there, there are 5,600 5, or 5,000 investors. This many are interested in Pittsburgh. I scroll down. I pick this random dude, Brad Burnham, right? He's a New York investor. He works at, or his Twitter is this. Um, he's a VC. And I can follow him, right? can also scope out. He has this many followers. He's following this many people. But I wonder if I can... Okay, so if his Twitter is connected, maybe Twitter is the best way. Let's check it out. If I can find him on Twitter, and I can message him on Twitter, and I follow him on Twitter, it, like maybe he has to be a follower of mine. Maybe, we'll see. Um, but what if I just went around and I spammed... I just I scraped all the different Twitters off of here, right? And then I spam I said I had a little bot just spam block like spam blast it to to the to the point where uh like some of them follow me back, right? And then if they follow me back, then I can add them on AngelList directly. I can send connection requests to them directly because I have them on Twitter. That might be an interesting thing. Ooh, he invested in DuckDuckGo. He invested in a nice stack overflow. Shoot, dude. This dude's prolific. He invested in Indeed? Yo. What a bro. <laughs> okay, cool. But I can follow him. That's not going to get me anywhere because he has 724 followers. But he has this many connections. And I can't check out his connections. Um, I wonder. I wonder. Let's see if we can go back. Let's see if we can make this happen a different way. Because if people leave their... Like, if people leave anything... Here, this is a Blue Tree Allied Angels dude, right? Perfect. He leaves his LinkedIn. He leaves his Twitter. Oh, wait. Okay, so hold on. That what that T slash co wasn't his Twitter. I want to go back to him. He was a good example. No, we want interested. This guy. We want to click on this Twitter. So this goes to his Twitter. I have my Twitter connected. If I tweet at him or I follow him, He's only following 111, so he's not going to follow me back. Hmm. If I followed him... Okay, so hold on. He go, he wor this is so frustrating. Um, Union Square Ventures. It goes... To, it, let's see, The email is the best way. The email is the best way. Because there are ways to scrape... Exactly, yeah, there. So we found him on LinkedIn, too. Um, if we can connect to him on LinkedIn, I wish it let me use LinkedIn to, to reach out to people. So people you may know. Add connections. Can I add connections? Ooh, hey, this works. Two mutual connections. This is great. This is a great way to just expand. So just connect to everybody. So connect to Jerry. Um, he's a friend. Jim Gibbs. So look, this is perfect. Yeah. Um, this is great. These are all people because I connect to my email, right? All these are awesome. Roy. Roy has a little fucking Wiimoji. Um, this is great. This is perfect. So these are people that I may know. I will connect with all of them. But if I want to add connections, the only things that I can do are through these four? Really? That's bizarre to me. But Gmail is recommended. Okay, cool. So I just have to add them onto my contacts on Gmail. I just have to find their things. I have to add them onto my contacts on Gmail to say that they're in there. And I, I have a, like a, an email scraper that I can go and I can check out, right? So let's say, let's say I want this guy. We go to his LinkedIn. We check him out. We take a peek. 
Um, cool. He's partner at Union Square Ventures. Let's go to Union Square Ventures. Um, let's just honestly copy paste. Um, Union Square Ventures. We'll go to Union Square USV. It's a nice domain name. Um, I will go here. I will plug in his flippin' face. Brad Burnham. Boom. 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 Brad. Got it. We got Brad at USV. Perfect. So we have his email. All right. So now we have his email. Now if I go to my email, um, if I go here to, let's just give my Gmail. This would be hilarious if this works. Um, because this would be such a hack. Go here. I hope we don't have to have exchanged emails. Um, security alert, we're fine. Uh, I need to go to my contacts. My contacts. And then I need to add, create contact, uh, email, boop, Brad, go Brad, last name, what's his fucking face? Burnham, like the bow, like Bo Burnham. Boom, we go here, company, whatever, save, right? So now Brad, ha, there you go, he showed up. All right, cool, job, job, like, it shows information. So now that we have him on here, I do wonder, if we can just go back, hey, what's up, dude? How's it going, David? Um, so now that we've connected here, I wonder if we can go back. We did this. We got this. You're good. Sure. Let's connect to Gmail over here. And if it gives me the opportunity to connect to Brad, then we have figured out a hack. And that is all we need to do. Uh, ha! No freaking way. Look at that. Look at that. Brad's right there. We figured out how to hack it. We figured out how to hack Angel List. Boom. I can send him a direct connection request now because I figured out his email and I plugged it into my flipping. Uh, <laughs> I just plugged it into my my email contacts and now it gives me the opportunity to directly connect with him and I don't need the secondary connection. Easy. Boom. So here now we figured it out. Hack. <laughs> um, scrape emails off um, either LinkedIn or um, flipping. And the nice thing is, once we directly like connection request, uh, so he still has to connect to me, right? He still has to add me as a connection. That's the hard part. Maybe that won't work. But if we get even a few of those, that suddenly, yeah, exactly. Um, I'm gonna use that too. I'm gonna use the heck out of that. Um, the if we can do that to a couple of big investors or decently sized investors because they're probably connected to other investors it's the only connections that I would really care about if I was an investor so if we can make that happen then um, suddenly it would be much easier for us to send connections because now we'll be secondary connections with a ton of different investors right perfect so that's how you build an angel network that's how you build a connection an investor network and an entrepreneur network using AngelList we figured it out and I'm going to go and do the heck out of that because that's awesome for Monster Generation and it's awesome for the stuff that I'm doing Perfect. Okay. Scrape emails off of LinkedIn or um, VC websites and directly link to or directly uh, request connections of investors interested in Pittsburgh from the 560. Of a six zero um, sized list. Boom. So we got the hack. We got that hack on lock. Now let's move on to the next one. Something a little bit more fun. Let's do alignable because we figured out an angel list. Alignable. Enter my email at gmail.com. Boom. Sign up for free. And then let's do shaper. I feel like shaper will be funny. And then I really want to try out Perlu because this looks like garbage. Looks like toxic as heck. Uh, name of my business, Moss Generation. Um, primary business address, let's just use mine. Don't make my address public. Um, I have multiple businesses. Like, eh, complete profile, whatever. Unimportant, verify with SMS. 771 373 Text me now. Is for so. Four seven five four seven five oh two oh 
Let me find my account. Business category. Um, startup. I can't type. Submit a request for this tag. Um, let's do investment. Investor. Um, no, 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 no. Investments. Uh, my products and services. No. 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 Um, network. Marketing. Um, start up. Start up. Uh, incubate. No. Community. Community. Wholesome, 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 wholesome. Um, okay. Uh, my business category is an investor. <sighs> is that the best way to describe what I'm doing? I feel like it. We're trying to exploit. So F it. Looks good. Uh, my customers are primarily businesses. Um, my customers are primarily nationally. Continue. Got it. This connects to my freaking email too. Look at that. Would you believe it? See and download your list of contacts. Allow. So, this is hilarious. A oh, lineable was granted access. Um, Catherine, all these people. Yes. Connect to all of them. Um, businesses that invite their network to get three times more get three times more referrals. I don't want to spam anybody with that. Skip. Not trying to be an asshole. Let's go. Search alignable. Messages. Good. This is a direct messaging platform. Perfect. Um, my community. This is my town, Pittsburgh, PA. Let's see. I wonder. I hope. I wish I could post. Search alignable. So let's do investors. Federated investors. Federated investors. Blah 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 blah. Filter by reputation. Real estate, real estate broker. My network of men. Filter, first degree. Yeah, they're not going to find anything in first degree. I might find things in second degree. It's probably all it's going to show me. Um, what are we thinking? Any ideas? Start up. Entrepreneur Capital Corporation. That sounds like the trashiest thing I've ever heard. Um, here, okay, so before we start, I can, I could just directly connect with anybody that I want, um, and the people that I, yeah, Vendor Capital International, so there are people on here that work like this, lending, loan services, I could just click, 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 um, locations, Pittsburgh, PA, nope. I'll just do it everywhere. Um, highly recommends. You can get recommendations here. Yeah, the goal here. So sorry. Yeah, I, you joined and I didn't. I didn't give you a rundown. Basically, I have, as an example, fifty five hundred followers on LinkedIn, right? Um, and the reason that I have that is because people saw me producing content and and I and I use the platform well. The only reason that I was able to get that many followers in about a year was because there were very few people on that platform. Okay. Um, if I did the same thing, if I posted the same exact amount of content, maybe on Facebook or on Instagram or on, on some other people, uh, on some other social sites, I would not have gotten nearly as many followers because it was oversaturated and because there's so many other people producing content. But on something like LinkedIn, because not too many people were posting content, now a lot more people are posting content and I got in on the first wave. But because I got in on that first wave before it got popular, before a ton of people joined the thing, it was easier for me to gain followers. And so the goal here is to use underserved social medias or underserved online networks to build following follower bases and build connection and build networks um, at an unrealistically, unrealistically high rate because we have the advantage that nobody else is doing it. So I was messing around on um, uh, flipping AngelList because AngelList is super underutilized. I don't know anybody that uses it effectively, but I bet we could. 
Um, I've used LinkedIn like crazy. There's a lot of other things that I can do on LinkedIn. There's always more things that you can do on LinkedIn. It's a great, great place to be. Um, and now I'm going on Alignable, which is essentially just a shittier LinkedIn. And I'm going to see if I can build a network quickly, easily, or, or more effective than, than other people might be using the platform, if that makes sense. And if you have any questions, please hit me with them so I can answer them, or we can try. Cool. So I'm going to connect to this dude. Aha! Outside my free networking area, this is how they get you. Connect with my members beyond Pittsburgh. So I guess we have to do Pittsburgh. Look at that. That's really funny. So we got to pay if we're going to be really, really hyper about this. Um, but instead, let's see if we can connect with people in Pittsburgh. Don't highly recommend. Doesn't have to be startup. Um, and it's in Pittsburgh, PA. So, investors, federation, federation, investors. Um, Pittsburgh Real Estate Connect. Is that my networking area? What the freaking hecky? Okay, this might be totally sucky. Um, I don't need Pittsburgh. No, we need Pittsburgh. Um, Federal Investors. Mm. I guess it's counting these people. I keep clicking on this. Show me more. Oh, my God. Um, let's see. Yeah. This is interesting. Events, services, Q&A. This is cool. Hey, let's ask a question. Um, what are the best ways for a um, startup to reach out to outside um, to investors? Outside their city. Um, get answers. Answering a question. I bet this is the way. Someone beneficial Affleck. I just sent a service plan. Let's see if we can search um, answers. So your question, see all, investor. How can I find investors for our consulting agency? Yeah, this is how we get views. Check this out. So people are asking things on Alignable. That's like, what did you put on Angel Investors? Are bad, good, why? Um, CL22 answers. Write your answer. Um, I think uh, they're great. So here, things that I need to do on Alignable. Alignable. Um, let's see. First of all, fix up my profile. Make it nice and pretty. Add a profile picture. Add a profile picture. More description on Moss. Gen. And then, uh, we need to run around. Oh, that's not the right place. This place. Um, I think no opinion whatsoever. Thanks, dude. I'm gonna like that. <laughs> um, like, like, probably like uh, sometimes we got things that they don't. Um, I know um a ton of early stage companies that thrive only because of um. They're angel investors. There's um, a lot of bad stigma around them, but the reality is there's almost no other place to find um, that early stage um, that to find capital when you're so early stage. Um, you should choose them carefully, and their prior, and if their prior experience is that of an entrepreneur, their prior experience is, I'm done after this question, I just want to, capital, because choose a carefully if their prior experience is that, um, is entrepreneurial. They can 
um, help your business and leverage uh, their networks um, to boost what you're building exponentially. I love them. Long story short, Something everyone should take advantage of. If they're building a tech startup. Cool. Answer the next question. We feel good about ourselves. Um, there's so much more that I could say on that flipping topic, but we're going to go for it. So let's go with that. We submitted an answer. Um, no opinion whatsoever. Blah, 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 six views. There's a little Shark Tank use secret risk use valuations for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm gonna go for it. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. I'm gonna check you out, Mark. Connect. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> All right, cool. So it doesn't look like um, we can do anything unless we pay for Alignable. It really looks like we're kind of, kind of like sitting in the shit. Unless we, um, unless we pay thirty bucks a month, which I'm not about to do on the stream, but it looks like it's a decent place. We can find there is a little bit of start act startup activity, which is cool, yay, awesome, great, but it doesn't sound like it's a ton. So we're gonna move on. Alignable does look cool though. Um, I refused. Cool. Um, but still, that was really fun. All right, now let's try Shaper. Uh, sh okay, vote. Is if it, uh, whoever's watching, um, should I check out the influencer-only social media that looks like an like a an Instagram for just influencers, which is probably going to be the most toxic flipping thing that I've ever seen. Um, yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Join Perler for free. I'm going to be the odd one out here because, um, yeah, just, uh, uh, boop. Yeah. Cool. Join Pillar for free. <laughs> the reason that I think this is going to be hilarious is because I already stand out. Um, I know, like, no, so we all know Pretzel, like, or at least I know Pretzel really well. He is one of two people. He is either my friend Matt Spettle, who is running a, um, a company in town in the Schwartz Center at CMU called Delta Band. Really, really cool startup. They've been killing it. Um, and he's on Silicon Valley right now. Or is my friend Aaron, Aaron LaBelle, who is building another startup in the Schwartz Center, um, called Perry.app. And which is also amazing. They they they're doing really really great things. Um, I I know it's one of those two. I don't know if you know either of those, Hank, but I know it's one of those two, and they won't reveal their identity to me, which is extremely frustrating. Um, okay, tell us who you want to represent yourself in the Perla community. Ooh, an influencer personal brand. Yes, absolutely. A marketing consult. Oh my, creative individual. No, I'm I'm an influencer or personal brand. Um, next. Yeah, Hank is awesome. You should hang out with Hank. Um, Matt's dope. Fucking Matt Spettel is a G. Uh, now tell us what you're into. Oh, my. Business and finance, please. Education, please. Um, events and attractions, healthy living, food and drink, hobbies and interests, only garden, medical health, music and audio, news and politics, personal finance, pop culture, real estate, business, experience, science, shopping, technology and computing, television, travel, video gaming, whatever. Um pets no um this should choose up to three categories can i search for more fuck it let's rock um do pets no i refuse max mirho that's me um oh wait no should i say entrepreneur oh i should have said entrepreneur i should have 
Oh, what the heck is going on? Oh, this is glitchy. Uh, I love it. I love it. Um, connect my social accounts. I'll connect my Instagram, I guess. Business Instagram. Continuous. Sure. I probably shouldn't be doing this. This is, <laughs> this is dangerous. 412 Thrift. <laughs> that would be great. Um... Oh, whatever. I guess I don't have any business pages right now. I moved them all back over to personal pages. Here, let's go back. Oh, flip yourself. Flip and heck yourself. Um, blog URL. Actually, I'm just going to do my LinkedIn URL. <laughs> LinkedIn. This is hilarious. Um, I love this. I love messing around with stuff like this. Yeah. <laughs> we just go to connect socially fine whatever um, I don't have a blog and or all set for now let's just say all set for now um, I must connect a blog really heck man <sighs> ooh let's connect my YouTube account because that is my videos make sure uh, boop boop all right, YouTube account verified. So it wants me to. This is hilarious. Oh, I love this. Um, without social accounts, it's a blank business card. Yeah, is where you can make connections to spark your career. So make a good first impression with a complete profile. Facebook page, Instagram account. I guess let's do a personal Instagram. Um, hi, right, entrepreneur. Authorize. This is so funny. I love this. This is such a weird thing to be doing. Entrepreneurs have been verified. I hate that it won't let let me connect a flippin' LinkedIn account. All set for now. Um, profile pic. Uh, uh, entrepreneurial educator and uh, founder. Entrepreneurial educator and founder. Um, full description. Let's do. And some of your expertise, background. I run. I host. An online live show called Entrepreneurd, where I teach, invite every social people <laughs> to my Slack. Yeah, no, exactly. Oh, man. That would be ridiculous. Just use that 1412 thing. Also, Hank, I don't know if I showed you. Um, I ran an ad yesterday. It's really funny because yesterday was National Thrift Store Day. That's National Thrift Shop Day. And I got a message from my friend Taylor. Um, essentially being like, dude, use this as advertising material. And I was like, oh, shoot. And so I just like ran a quick little ad. And I can show it to you real fast. Um, I did this. I just posted this on Facebook and Instagram. And as I clicked to sign up, we're launching 412 Thrift for National Thrift Shop Day. Um, I put that ad and get all oh, resale thrift shoppers from every platform. True, I need to. I think Facebook and Instagram are probably the best places to get consumers, just because it's like it's super. You know, like if I can, I can post stuff and whatever and blah 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 blah. Um, so I feel like like those are best for the consumers. But if I'm going to do thrift shops, thrift shops are not on any social media platform at all. Very few of them are. So I just need to reach out them to, out to them directly, honestly, through email or through like Facebook Messenger. So that, that's probably going to be the the strategy there. Um, brands, influencers, search engines, search engines. That's what I like to see. Um, I host an li online live show called Entrepreneur, where I teach um, the ins and outs of building a business from scratch. I gotta say, telling and talking to people over and over, and talking to like, f like, like sometimes like five people per day for a week, um, just like talking about the stuff that I do every single day repeatedly always ends up like like i i have my my uh my pitches my my elevator pitches for for boss generation entrepreneur down like they're i because i talk about them so much uh it's it sucks the life out of me but god um okay cool awesome where i teach in the ins and outs of growing a business from scratch of building a business from scratch um i ha i do my live streams uh, i now yeah, post all Almost all my content. My content on my LinkedIn page on LinkedIn. 
and you can go check out my uh, profile here. I do my live streams once or twice a week. I also I was talking to um, my dad, and I was we were basically running through like what I would do for um, entrepreneur just the the live stream because Sunday this this little time slot I know we've gotten like like we had like ten viewers at one point and we have like eight consistently and that's awesome um, that's super super cool but a lot of people that I know I have like thirty people interested and a lot of people that I know can't join because of the time slot and plus people usually tune out after an hour and a half so that I know we're at eight right now but if you watch that it's gonna start going down a little bit sooner um, in a little bit because it, like three hours is a really long period of time and I want to like probably break it up into like hour and a half and then another hour and a half and do that twice a week. Um, and then do like maybe like a like a Saturday midday. Um, maybe I've had an intermission, yeah, but it's just so late, and it's also Sunday night, Sunday evening. It's really hard for people to join. So maybe like Wednesday after work, like Wednesday at six p.m. to like seven thirty p.m., and then uh, like Saturday at like one p.m. until like two thirty p.m. I feel like those would be really really good times. But I'll test those out. And I'll look at, at who's using online stuff, and, and I'll do some research on on information. Um, so I want to split it up though, just be so it's more accessible to people. Uh, okay, cool. So I do my live streams once or twice a week on my Twitch channel, where I build businesses live. Um, YouTuber entrepreneurs are big market areas. New and unique focus for these sites. Um, Game Grumps are amazing. Literally, the entire, like, this whole series, like, the whole Entrepreneur series is based off of Game Grumps. I absolutely love them. I'm obsessed with them. They're incredible. They're my favorite people in the whole world. Oh, my gosh. I went and saw uh, a Game Grumps live show last, no, this past week. This past week. They went, they came to Pittsburgh, and they did a live show, and it was super fun. I went with my friend Connor. Um, it was great. It's a super fun little thing. But you know, this whole thing is based off of Game Grumps. And so I'm going to try to split a lot of the content up that I'm doing for these long, longer term live streams um, into stuff that I can post on these different social channels. And hopefully maybe on YouTube. Though I feel like I can just post. I'm not going to gain any traction on YouTube. I'm really not. Um, just because it's so hard to, to build an audience there. It's so, so hard. So even though it would be a great platform for me. Sad. Um, Twitch is doing fine. I feel like I like the live better anyway. Anyway. Um, where I build small businesses live. Um, and you can go check that out here. And I'll link my Twitch channel because, again, shameless promotion. Boop. All set. Let's get you properly enrolled. Send an email to, click the link in the email. Let's go to flip in my email. Stop, stop, stop. I'm going to edit this. Oh, shoot. Um, gosh dang it. Let's just edit this and then add that Gmail. Done. Over there. Cool. Awesome. Um, security alert. Angelist. I'm added all these things to my Google account. It's so funny. Um, Perlu. Activate my new Perlu account. Activate account. Yay! We're on Perlu. Okay, cool. Um, 418 total audience. Why? Oh, oh, it measures. So it, very interesting. So it gathers everybody that I have on YouTube and everybody they have, I know she would sass me so much. Um, it gathers everybody that I have on, on my, my different social channels. That's fascinating. Invite, advisors, Perlu. Okay, um, explore, network, packs. Let's let's edit my profile. My profile. So let's add yeah, ninety nine percent around here. Edit profile. Connect social accounts. Connect Twitter. I wish I could connect a LinkedIn.
Now I blog links to your profile. Oh, I want my LinkedIn. Oh. Update. Um, very interesting. So this is not not at all for people like me. This is so cool. It ports all the stuff that I've posted on Instagram and my YouTube stuff. This is fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Other links, categories, no categories for me yet. Let's edit profile. Categories, get prelude badges. That's what we want. Select a badge style to get a code, snippet for your website. Oh, very cool. Okay. So the payable accounts, custom profile URL. Entrepreneur, yep. Um, edit profile. Let's do interests. Allow direct messages. Where am I? Um, it's so bothersome. It's so annoying to me that I can't add um, my LinkedIn. Because now I can't be legit on here. That's so annoying. Ugh. Uh, here, let's see. Add uh, a LinkedIn account to Perlu. Does Perlu have anything that they like to tell me? Nope. Perlu's so new that they got Jack. So. But this is good because this is so underserved. There's so many so much opportunity for me. So fun. Okay, cool. Um, our groups of influencers create parallel packs to organize your community and colleagues. You create and join packs and become eligible for collabs. So funny. Join parallel packs to get into collabs. Explore packs. <laughs> Business blogs. Collabs twenty nine. Quest to join. Teaching industry. Sure. Early childhood education, homeschooling education, bloggers, join. Um, college prep, human trafficking awareness prevention, homework and study tips, language, tech blogs, request to join. Virtual reality, smartphone, robotics, women entrepreneurs. I am not a woman, sad. Can I join that? But I wonder if there are other entrepreneur groups. Marketing, advertise, PR, request to join. Playing engagement, YouTube influencers. Nope. Packs. We should make our own pack. Create a pack. Got it. Let's create a pack. Name. Um, Entrepre. I'm sorry. Uh, cool. Awesomeness. Okay. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Pack category. Business and finance. Unless there's a better one. There really is not. <laughs> Pets. Um, yeah, we're going to do business and finance. Uh, public. Long description. Um, actually, let's just say LinkedIn. Sirs, short description. Um, a pack of um, influencers um, that have over a significant following on LinkedIn. Don't want to find other influencers to collaborate with. Cool. Uh, profile images, upload pack image. Let's just do, let's just get a LinkedIn profile picture. So LinkedIn logo, linked. Okay, hold on. Somebody max pack. That'd be great. Um, freaking one of my friends, I can't remember who it was, but they were bugging me about how I need to host an event called instead of like Lincoln Park, I need to call it LinkedIn Park and I do it in a park and it's a bunch of people that like LinkedIn. But it's LinkedIn Park. Uh, really funny. Anyway, LinkedIn logo. Boop. I feel like I have this logo everywhere on on just my freaking desktop. But we're just gonna be we're gonna be basic and download it again. 
Uh, where is it? Download. Boom. Download PNG. Oh, anyway, just collabs. Pittsburgh Parks. <laughs> oh, man. Just host it in a park, dude. LinkedIn Park. That would be freaking funny, man. And then I would have, I would invite LinkedIn Park to come play. That would be the easy part. We get LinkedIn Park to, uh, LinkedIn Park. We get LinkedIn, LinkedIn Park to, to play for our, um, I guess we invite others. Anyone enjoy this pack? Uh, must be approved by a packed admin. Uh, yeah. That makes it look more exclusive. You know, should collabs with this pack. Save. Create a public pack. Members don't like to join empty packs, so add at least five members to your pack to get the party started. Add the pack button for the para. We'll listen in the explore section for others to find and join. As soon as your pack has five members, we'll listen in the explore section. So that's important right there, right? So we got Paraloo. Um fix up your profile. I want to email the um uh founders of the platform and ask them to add a LinkedIn link for influencers like me. Um I also need to add at least five people to my uh, LinkedIn pack um, to get it listed on the explore page. Perfect. Got it. I'm a member of education bloggers. I'm an owner of this one. Um, perfect. So I created a pack. Collabs, not important. I don't care. I don't give a hecky. Network. Explore. Let's explore packs. Travel packs. I don't want to. I don't want to. No, 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 no. Oh, God, no. Careers packs. Oh, jeez. Heck. Hecko. Education packs. Um, family relationships, careers packs, career leadership, authentic leadership. Interesting. Parallel career. Yeah, so they start to make them. Career advice, request to join. Casual moms, listen, uh, budget bloggers, fashion. Yeah, so this is what we need to be doing. These are careers. Um, I want to see if I, just, I can find the business ones. Travel packs, all categories, business and finance. Um, business blogs. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Created by Perlu community team. A lot of these are hand created by a lot of people that run Perlu, right? Um, and that's what we expect. So, packs, collabs, advisors, invite, invite colleagues. Got it. I don't want to. I really don't want to. <laughs> but how can I find other people? How can I find other people? Um. Groups of Perlu influencers, agencies, and brands want to be found. Join a pack today. How about we go back to the packs that I'm in? Packs. Owner, member, education bloggers, pack details. So let's find Ed Tello. There's 2K in there and 3K on LinkedIn. Interesting. Find people. Doesn't have anything. Oh. 11k on Instagram. Never mind, that's pretty impressive. So I can find other influencers here, right? That's the purpose of this. Enhancing your minds. Fascinating. Ooh, Holly. Who's Holly? I want to find Holly. So she has a stupid amount on Pinterest, a stupid amount on Instagram, a stupid amount everywhere. Three million on Facebook. That's super wild. Um, and she is a work-at-home entrepreneur, social media strategist. Awesome, 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 awesome. Live video enthusiast. This is a perfect kind of person. Um, oh, so she doesn't have a Perlu account?
Don't know who this page belongs to, but the interesting. I have 100 invitations remaining. This is weird, guys. Bye, Ava. Thank you for hopping. Thank you for hopping on. I really appreciate it. Um, public packs, followers. So I can add a pack. Request connection. There we go. So I can request connections on here. This is essentially just like LinkedIn, um, except shittier. <laughs> but this is really cool. Oh, dude, take your time. There's no rush. You never need to rush under here. You got your own stuff to do, but I appreciate you hopping on. Oh, he's hosting me. You're so cool. Um, all right, cool. So, partner with her. Yeah, exactly. Um, that would be ideal. Because she has a massive audience that I could tap into. So let's see. I invited, I can't, I, like, I requested what she's doing, but Holly Homer, how do I reach out to her? Kidsactivitiesblog.com. Kidsactivities.com. This is more for kids stuff, but, okay, and I can't find her email. But on Facebook, does she have a LinkedIn? No, sad. Thirty-five hundred. Wow, quirky mama. She is killing the game. Holy freaking heck! Jeez, man. <sighs> this is amazing. She's incredible. She just posts typical stuff. This is some. Oh, Jesus. Heck, man. How do these people do it? About. Hit me with that. I bet I can reach out to you some way. I'm Holly Homer, the mom of three boys. Very active boys. Oh, jeez. Ha! Look at that fucking dog. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I'm getting delirious. Oh, she's a speaker. She's incredible. Ooh, via email. Got it. Ooh, LinkedIn. <gasps> Love you. How many followers do you have on LinkedIn? I bet I have more. No, I definitely don't have more. Oh, you're amazing. Oh, how do you do it? Shoot, dude. I'm blown away by people like this. They're just incredible. Oh, I have nine viewers. I'm shocked. I'm really, I'm actually really shocked. Usually we, t like, people like to tune out around now. Um, contact info. Heck, man. She's loaded. Very impressed by people like this. So this isn't useful. This isn't useful. The LinkedIn is useful. And the email is useful. Copy email address. So now we have found cool influencers in the education space. I guess that's fun for us. But have we hacked the profile? I don't think so. So how do we hack the profile? Advisors. Parallel advisors. Travel advisor. That's a really pretty photo. Wow. Um, yeah, doesn't look like I'm not entirely sure of the purpose of this. This entire website. This is fascinating. Travel advisor, cruising advisor. Most of these are just advisors. They're using their extra for uh, campaigns. Let's start. They're where to start network for or networking and partnerships. Interesting. Fashion advisor. Vegan health advisor. Um. Jeez, man. Messages. I can message people, which is hilarious. View all. You are not connected to anyone. Sad. Um, this is super interesting, though. Business. Business blogs. Pack details. Who's got the thickest audience here? GaryVaynerchuk.com. God damn it. I hate that. I hate that so much. I hate Gary V. Ugh. 
Even he's even on Perlu. That's so funny. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You can't escape him. Ugh. Oh. Madness. Let's contact him on Perlu. <laughs> Uh, it's got two followers on here. I'm over indexing on Perlu right now. It's killing me. This is this is making my head hurt. This is making my head hurt. Straight up. Why are you following him? Such an odd network. Based in Finland. Over, <laughs> bro. I'm over indexing on Perla. It's it's a massive opportunity to escape right now. There's 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 so much opportunity here. Ugh. it's like ugh. I I can just hear him now. I can hear his freaking voice, and man kills me. Wow, I am exhausted. We might cut the stream short today. Um, this is really funny though. I don't. I can't see any opportunities to post. This just looks like it's an opportunity. So, the best ways that I can post, <laughs> like yesterday, drop it. <laughs> yeah. I love Hank Sass. I absolutely love Hank Sass. It kills me. Shit! If you're not on Perlu, like you're wasting your life. Like it, it, there's so much opportunity there right now. I I am bullish on Perlu. <laughs> That's what he always says about LinkedIn. Ah, uh, qualified to collab. Uh huh. Uh huh. So it looks like this is done through packs, right? We got tech vlogs and homeschooling. Oh, member, owner. I wish I could add five more influencers. So how do I pack details? Let's see if I can add people randomly. Add members. It's really funny though. What's your URL on Perlu? No idea. Let's find out. My profile. I think it's Perlu slash profile slash entrepreneur. Uh, it'd be funny if you all made Perlu profiles and then just added it so I could just do that. But it doesn't look like there's even enough people on the platform to use it for anything, which is sad. So. I guess we'll just kind of chip away at that and wait for thing more things to happen. Um, but if we want to add things, like we would use do through packs. We would do through packs, and there's only like five packs existing right now, which is sad. Meanwhile, I'm going to add... I'm going to shoot her an email because that's fun. Hey, Holly. Fascinated. I can type. With what your and <laughs> God damn it, Hank is just milking four one two thrift. Um, fascinated with what you're doing with um early education, and I've seen you've built quite a massive network on other social platforms. Um. I feel like Perlu could be pretty easy to buy followers from a click farm. Yeah, probably. That's a good point. But people would have to set up sell partnerships. With, ooh. What if I become a Perlu hustler? New business model. Um, That'd be interesting. Yeah. There just needs to be, like, it, I would agree. I could become the most popular person on Perlu just by, by a few basic exploits, right? I could just pay, like, a bunch of, um, like, I could pay some, a click farm, exactly, to just go and make a bunch of profiles um, with their Instagram accounts and just, uh, like, add me up, right? That'd be cool. That would work well. But, like, there's no benefit to it right now. There's no benefit and there's no way to, to be found other than the pack. So, I, I like, I would just get a pack together and I would try to make it businessy. Um, and then basically that's all that happens, but it doesn't seem like there's really anything going on there. Like they have an advisor list and you click the advisor list and there's like 25 advisors. Like that's it for the entire thing. And most of them are travel advisors. Asked to trade promotes or saying, yeah, fair, fair. Um, I'm still, I might use it. 
then I'll get a real audience. Wow. Burn. <laughs> yeah, when my body got together. Imagine getting banned from Perlu. What a time. That would be quite a time. Um, I've seen you build quite a massive network on other social platforms. I'm probably going to use it to find, be a Perlu advisor and teach people what the fuck it is. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that'd be so fucking funny. I'm going to email the people and I'm going to ask them to add a LinkedIn influencer section just so I can actually have a decent network. And then I can become more popular on the platform if, if thing, anything happens. Um, Perlu Campus Ambassador. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I'm just going to build a quite a massive network on those social platforms. Um, I uh, sent you an email to ask if you would be interested in doing a live show with me since I noticed you're um, interested in that type of content. Thanks. Cool. Sent her a little invitation on LinkedIn. That's neat. Um, I'll queue up a little Gmail thing. I have a couple of drafts that I need to send off anyway. I'll queue up her flipping boop. That's a weird email, man. I'm pretty sure it's not 20%. I'm pretty sure it's just this. And then I'll send that later. Um, invite on my live stream. And then her name was Hey Holly. I think it was Holly, right? Holly. Yeah. Holly Homer. Hey, Holly. So, whatever. I'll do that later. But Perlu looks like it's pretty much a bust. That's sad. Um, for one value dollar, I'll tell you what the fuck is Perlu. LinkedIn here. <laughs> God damn. Y'all are savage. Um, Perlu. Blah, 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 blah. Ha! Daniel. Daniel made an account just to message me directly on Perlu. That's really funny. You're awesome, Daniel. Uh, what do you say? Hello. <laughs> um, that's great. You're cool. You married a few days ago. That's really funny. Um, I love that. Okay, cool. Let's do Shaper. So, because Shaper actually has like a pretty decent audience. Log in. No, I'm not going to log in. I need to sign up. Sign up. Also, Perlu isn't on Crunchbase. Really? Because it's so freaking early. Yeah, it's not even a startup. Um, Sign up with LinkedIn. Sure. Yep. Allow. Oh. I'm feeling a little sick and really tired. I worked out all day because I was lifting and moving stuff all day today. So I might actually have to cut this a little short. I'm glad we found an AngelList uh, exploit, though. That was cool. That was the main thing that I wanted to try. Uh, next. Title, um, founder of last generation. Heck, I'm a student. No, I'm not a student. When did you start your career? August 2019. Yeah, let's do that. School, Carnegie Mellon University. University degree, bachelor's. Next, um, entrepreneurship, tech entrepreneur, product development, um, networking. Uh, invest, and, uh, investing, startups, Startups, um, venture, capital, perfect. Um, let's see. Um, seed. Now, what else? Innovation. Sure. Next. Um, and activate location. Allow. Pick up three current goals, find investors, um, 
Find mentors. Mentor others. No. Grow my business. Sure. Cool. Um. God, I am not feeling great right now. Oof. I got a lot of gas. Um. Okay. Goals. Um. I aim to build. Uh, larger network of investable tech startups. Um, I'm going to build a larger network of investable tech startups uh, in the U.S. Um, to make it easier for um, Investors to find the right companies. Cool. Whatever. This is hilarious. Might as well appear here. I can just say chief networking enthusiast. I can get the app. Mandy, here to help you get started in Shaper. Check out my interests. See me in the comment if we match. Chat in the app. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not real. Um. No. Integrated investment. No. Director of business development. No. Say to approach your ghosts. Uh, marketing. Sure. Owner reset. Uh, no. No. Yeah, this is essentially. Oh, you have a LinkedIn thing. I'll add you. Um, no, this is essentially just Tinder for business. This is hilarious. This is absolutely hilarious. I love this. Startups, 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 and now we're done. That's weird. Look at that. So I can do advanced search. I can see who swiped on me. Interesting, but I can upgrade my experience for pro. So we've checked out Shaper. Check that out. That's pretty funny. Um, I'm interested in this. This is really cool. I have to wait six hours until my next batch. Oh, all right. I'm feeling really tired. I'm really pooped. I think I'm going to hop off pretty early. Most people have tuned out anyway. Um, I appreciate everybody joining me on this. This is only a two-hour stream, and I apologize for that. But uh, it was fun that we learned all these different things. And we found an exploit for, for AngelList, which I think is really cool. So I'm going to use the heck out of that. Um, and it looks like a lot of these other are a little bit interesting, but eh, whatever. So this is fun. I'm going to post about this on LinkedIn. I'm going to post about the AngelList exploit too. Um, all right, cool. Thank you for joining, Hank. I appreciate you too, Pretzel. I will see you all later. Have a great night. Um, and I would love it if you told me like what times work for you in terms of like middle of the week and then weekend and things like that so I can reschedule my streams for different times. All right, cool. Bye. Have a good night. I'll see you guys later. I know. Two more follows. Ugh. It's so annoying. I'll I'll ask a bunch of my friends to do it, and then I'll get it. But yeah, cool. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel.